Has the radio stopped working in your Honda? One day the radio in my Honda Odyssey was working and then the next day it wasn't. What's weird is that the anti-theft light still blinks which is attached to the radio. The other thing I noticed is that my phone charger isn't working in the accessory port. So here's what I did to get my radio working again. I immediately went to look for a blown fuse. Check the fuses in the lower wall on the passenger side. And to save you time, the fuse you're looking for is the number 9 15 amp fuse, but it's labeled accessory socket, not radio. To get the fuse out, you'll need a fuse puller or pliers. Honda has conveniently included a fuse puller in the engine compartment. Grab that if you don't have any pliers around. Now let's take a look at the number 9 fuse. Here I can see that the fuse is definitely blown so we need a new one. And luckily Honda has also equipped their cars with spare fuses. So I'll grab the fresh 15 amp fuse from the engine compartment and place it in the number 9 slot. I was excited for the radio to turn on, but to my disappointment, it still didn't work. Not sure what was going on, I pulled the fuse back out. Taking a look at it, I saw that it was immediately blown. I eventually determined that the phone charger was causing this, and since Honda only provides one spare fuse in each amp rating, I ordered a kit from Amazon which is way cheaper than from the auto parts store. 120 fuses for about seven bucks. So I'll try this again, this time without the phone charger plugged in. And this time the radio works. So my phone charger was the cause of the fuses getting blown. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel The Render Cube for more how-to videos and product reviews.